it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby, and this is going to be a little bit of a long video. I have um, some new products to share with you from Honeybee Stamps, Trinity Stamps, and Darcy's, and I'm going to do a quick monthly re recap and some shop updates for you. So let's do the monthly recap first. So our box of the month for May, the Fresh Summer box has sold out and it sold out in record time. It was like four hours and it was sold out. Um, so what I've got and done for June's box, I had enough time to reorder, um, I guess like a double order. So we have more available for June. And believe me, June's box, June's box is gonna sell out quickly. Well, it was going to sell out quickly until I doubled up the order. So it's going to take a little bit more time for me to sell that out now that I have double um, the amount to sell. But believe me, this next box is gorgeous. So I, I do wanna do a little sneak peek so you can see. Let's see, I have a paper pad here, and you're gonna see how gorgeous next month's box is gonna be. So we got sunflowers and bees. It is just gorgeous. The stamp and die of the month was absolutely adorable. I had ordered double the quantity of that, so we had plenty to sell. So this is still available in the shop. And this set is called Coffee with My Nomies and it is just so stinking cute. I love coffee and I love gnomes. So <laughs> pairing up the two is just super cute and I love the cat me images. So we've got um, cute sentiments in here. Life happens, coffee helps. Nobody talked to me until I've had my coffee but it's like gnome buddy. So really cute pun. There's a die. Um, you can pick it up without the die. You can sign up for the Stamp of the Month Club and get 18% off, or you can purchase it as a one-time purchase. And then we have some cute cards that were created with this set. There is a, a hop that you can go to. Click the hashtag, know me coffee, and you will see all the cute videos um, using that stamp set. We still have the stamp and die available for this cute one too. This is I Pick You, and I think these gnomes are just so adorable. Um, there's a little sign that you can stamp out these sentiments in, and there is also a die available, and I just had a blast creating with that stamp set. There's also a hop using this stamp set. You can Click on the hashtag um, N2S, pick you, and these will pop up all the videos for this stamp set. We also had a mini bundle release, and the theme was boba tea. So we have an I Want It All bundle release. We have a Crafty L bubbling over stencil. We have coordinating ephemera to this really cute bubble tea paper pad. We have a die that you can add on to this bundle um, and the cute stamp set here. I heart bubble tea with some really fun sentiments. Um, little faces you can add to this cute cup. And let me share the cards for those. So here's a super fun card with the faces and then a more sophisticated card. And then these are the cute cards with the bubble tea release using the ephemera and papers. And then I did restock this from our strawberry release. So we have the pink berry blast paper and ephemera available in the shop. I do have the Pinkberry Blast available in the screen color. Um, my printer accidentally printed the wrong color, so it um, printed with this green color. It's really pretty, but it's not the correct color. It's supposed to be this very pretty teal color. 
um, and the co coordinating ephemera um, still goes very nicely with the green. I'll go through some of the ephemera with you so you can see how cute these Rosa BB images are. They are just so adorable. So you get several different dolls, different hair colors and skin tone in different sizes. They're just so cute. Look at that cute little phone. There's a cute cat. Little notebook and hand cream. Some sentiments in here. Some jam. This is really cute. The little strawberries with the smiley faces. Little basket. Some bows. Some plain strawberries without faces. Really, really cute. So if you open the listing, I have all of these pieces spread out for you so you could see them. Little teapot. Super, super cute. Little mushroom. Just adorable. I will flip through this one really quickly. There's four of each design, and then we have designs on the back. Super cute. Let me flip through the teal one really quickly in case you haven't seen it before. Just so pretty. So we've got little polka dots that are hearts. Some roses on there, some strawberries, a pink plain piece of paper, this really pretty one with the little sweets on the back, little kittens with strawberries, pink a polka dot with white uh, hearts on a pink background. We've got the bows on a pink background and then on a white background. This really cute bunny face with strawberries and then a, a reddish background. And then we've got the mushrooms on a pink background and on a white background. And then the strawberry faces on that blue color with a red background. And then we've got the roses on a white background and then on that really pretty check background. And then this one on the pink background. And then we've got some strawberries on a dark pink background. And then we've got them on the teal background. And then the sweets on a white background. Okay, I'd like to share some honeybee stamps with you. Okay, we have the honeybee bone folder available in the shop. We have this cute little baby's stamp set. We've got this really cute stamp set that's called Grandma's Garden with these really adorable hummingbirds. There's a coordinating die for this. And I like the die because it cuts out in between these flowers. We have a layering stamp set. It's called Layering Wisteria. And it's a beautiful flower and it looks like this when it's done. And then there is a coordinating die that will also cut out the sentiments and the leaves. We have the smaller version. So this is an add-on if you want different sizes of this beautiful flower. We have a balloon arch layering stamp set and there is a coordinating die for this. We have layering streamers and confetti. So everything you see now is all birthday related. So there are a couple of hot foil items in here. So this one's really pretty. Um, this would look beautiful with some hot foil. 
and that one is called Ombre Dots, and this was a birthday um, hot foil sentiment. And then here is the hot foil balloon arch, and then the regular, we have a happy, happy, happy birthday stamp set with the large happy and all the other sentiments that pair up nicely with the word happy. You can pick up the die and have those items cut out and then place them anywhere on your card. We have the best gift ever um, sentiments and these are perfect for tags. So we've got handmade with love, I hope you love it, I almost kept this, put on your happy face, sorry it's not a pony, act, act surprised, okay? Love you, probably the best gift ever. If you don't like it, I call dibs. Just kidding, it's from Amazon. You're pretty expensive. You better not return this. There's a to and from, and I promise this doesn't suck. And some hearts. Um, a lot of these sentiments will fit on these tags. Um, these are great for the back of your cards too, as well as the front. We've got this birthday sentiment pack here, and this one is called Birthday Wishes, a nice script on this birthday, and then some coordinating sentiments that you can put on the inside of your card or below the birthday. Really cute. We've got a coverall plate that says happy, 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 happy. We've got the new buzzwords, and this one is the big buzzword. We've got um, the coordinating little sentiments that will fit along with these big words here. And then there is the coordinating die that also leaves stitching around a shadow. You can layer these up to create a nice dimensional sentiment. And then we've got this birthday cake card. So this is a card base and it is a cake. There's, um, there's a candle that you can cut out several times depending on how many candles you want on your cake. There's sprinkles and whipped cream to decorate it with. And here is the stamp set. So uh, these pieces here will cut out the inside here to decorate the inside of your cake. And um, there also is a sentiment, happy birthday to you. We have new from Darcy's. There's four new stamp sets, um, perfect for Father's Day. This one here is called Summer Days. So we got a cute bear and a fox and an inner tube and there's some paddles. Um, there's a flashlight and a little marshmallow on a stick. And the sentiments, river, waves, and summer days. Time to find our happy place. So this goes really nicely with the background stamp. And that one's called Mountain River Scene. This one's perfect for Father's Day. We've got Beer Brilliant. Cheers to being Beer Brilliant. Dad, bro, we go together like. And you can put the um, mug of beer and pretzels together. I love your twisted sense of humor. Without you, life would be un bearable, but bearable. And then we've got the very best dad. You're the very best dad, and dad, you're rawsome. And new from Trinity Stamps, we've got the summer blooms. So these are nice and large, perfect for a slimline card. There is a coordinating die you can pick up. So these look really easy to color. The lines are nice and thick. Um, so these would be perfect for embossing as well. We've got pretty wonderful. Um, the coordinating die does cut out the sentiments and we have a nice bouquet here. We've got hello friend, thank you, and you're pretty wonderful. Here's a standalone die called Blooming Circle Window. So really nice if you wanna make a nice elegant card. I think that would be a nice focal point. You can cut that out with um, some gold foiled paper or something like that it would look beautiful. We've got Happily Ever After. So if you need some wedding cards, we've got congratulations to the new Mr. and Mrs. Happily Ever After and for the happy couple. Now this you can probably 
just emboss it in a color and um, put it on some colored cardstock and call it a day. You probably don't even have to color in the image. Then we have the coordinating die for that. There's also an outline die of a wedded couple. So you can um, cut this out on black and do a silhouette. Or you can use it as like a shaker and cut this, cut a window out in your A2 size panel card and then fill the inside with sequence or shaker mix. This one's called Oval Foilage and it's a very, very pretty um, leafy design. And we've got some scripty wedding day words. So we've got best wishes, wedding, um, let's see. Here's the words on the back. Best wishes on your wedding day. I'm glad they did that because sometimes it's kind of hard to read backwards. Then we've got Mr. and Mrs. So you can see there's a shadow to add to the back if you wanted to. We've got Bloom and Grow stamp set, this cute gnome popping out of the watering can. And then there is a die for that as well. And then we've got two slimline dies. This one is the mini slimline die. It's a woven pattern. And then we've got a floral twinkle um, slimline die pattern. So really, really pretty. So that is all the new goodies in the shop. I'll have the link down below in the description box if you want to head on over and check out all the new stuff. Thanks for stopping by guys. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!